Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this Moai uploaded by E.T. Huang. So uh, first things first, we go down to the developer notes to see if they have any specifications. And they don't say too much, but that's more than fine. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult to come up with our own settings. First thing is we're going to click on the download all files here. And we should get a folder similar to this with only one STL. So nice and easy. Click and hold on it and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice. Give it a few seconds to load in. Once the model's finished loading in, you should see the statue laying on its back. So the first thing we're going to do is going to reorientate the model. In order to do that, we're going to click on the model. We're going to go down to the third button down here and to the third column. Click on this button. Now we're going to move our mouse around the model until those lines disappear. And we're going to click anywhere at the bottom surface, like this. And that should make our model stand upright. Next, we're going to center the model, and in order to do that, we're going to click on this top button. And where it says X, Y, and Z, we're going to make sure every number there is zero. So zero, zero, zero. That's going to center our model at the very center. Next, we're going to mess with the print settings. So here in profile, we're going to click on this tab and select the layer height. For this one, you should be more than fine at a 0.2 millimeter layer height. If this pops up, click on the discard changes to erase all previous profile modifications. Now we're not going to mess with shell, we're not going to mess with infill, but we will mess with supports. So go to the supports tab and we're going to take a look around the model and see there's quite a bit of red, meaning supports will be necessary. So click on this box to generate supports. And depending if you have the latest version of Cura or not, you're going to have tree supports, which is what we're going to use uh, in different locations. If you have a old version of Cura, then your tree supports are going to be under experimental. If you have the new version of Cura, your tree supports are going to be here under the supports tab. If you don't see tree supports anywhere, click on this gear icon and under search, type in tree supports and make sure everything here is enabled. Once again, if you have the new version, Follow me. If you do not have the new version of Cura, your tree supports are going to be down here under experimental. So uh, once you click on the generate supports, we're going to change our support structure to tree supports because that's going to be what we want. If you use regular supports, supports are going to be basically in a vertical manner and they're going to ruin some of the surface quality. So in order to get the best surface quality, we're going to use the tree supports. So they branch from the uh, from the bed rather than the actual model itself. So the only things we're going to change are going to be the tree support branch distance. That's set to one millimeter, but we want it to be three millimeters. So we're going to branch those uh, tree branches out a little more. There's less uh, contact between the supports and the model, giving you a better uh, surface quality. Next, we're assess support overhang angle. We're going to up that to whatever value you want. For me, I have a CR10, and I'm going to use a 60 degree overhang angle. But if you have a uh, lower end printer or something like an under 3, I recommend either 50 to 55, depending on what you're uh, used to. So for me, 60. So we're not going to mess with anything else under the support settings. We're done with that. Next is build plate adhesion. Take a look at the bottom of the model. And there's plenty of contact area. From the uh, model and the build plate, so no need for surface area, uh, build plate adhesion. We'll leave that as whatever it is, which is more than likely skirt. And other than that, we're fine. So uh, click on the slice button, give it a few seconds to slice up. And once it is finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly one hour and 52 minutes, but that will depend on the printer you are using as well as the settings you selected. You'll also be given an estimated filament usage of 14 grams. Now we always preview the print, so click on preview down here. Take a look around the model and see if everything looks normal to you. Now your supports or your tree branches will not look like mine as they are generally uh, random. So uh, as long as you have your uh, Moai in one piece, you're more than set. So save the file and send it over to your printer.
Here's the model straight off the prim bed. The only thing I have to do is remove supports, but with tree supports that's not an issue at all. They basically fall off on their own, so give it a little push and remove all the supports from the front and the back of the model. Here's the model one saw processing has been completed. Everything came out pretty good with no defects whatsoever. The only thing you can notice is the seam at the back and that's because the model has no sharp edges. Everything is a basically a curve. So that's more than expected and completely normal. Other than that, this is definitely a very fun and easy print and if you want one, I do recommend you print it. Especially in this little uh, silk filament color.